Uh, it seems like I am the last speaker before the lunch break, so please try and bear with me for the next 10 minutes or so. And also the people in Northern or Southern America, uh, it won't take long before you get a cup of coffee and some midnight snack, but not delivered by VTT. So my presentation will give you an example of an ongoing activity where VTT is actively uh, trying to bring, introduce new novel technologies into the market through spin-off activity. I call this technology active paper technology. Uh, the technology uh, can bring paper into uses in completely new types of added value applications. Actually, in these applications, paper could be an excellent choice of material. So I'm talking about very low cost disposable everyday sensing, both for consumers and also in the healthcare sector. There's an increasing demand for these types of solutions or diagnostical or sensing devices. Firstly, in the list, I have mentioned the very affordable diagnostics need in developing countries where there are three billion people living in poor conditions, uh, in poor healthcare environment. They need to walk a day to go to uh, doctors and in order to get fast feedback and uh, right medication at the right time, uh, affordable diagnostic tools could be extremely important for these people. There's also an increasing demand for personal healthcare related products in the de developed countries. People, us consumers, are increasingly interested and aware of our personal well-being, our loved one's well-being, or the well-being of the environment. If we think about some tools for these uh, sensing needs to be delivered on a daily or weekly basis to everybody around the world, naturally the materials and technologies need to be sustainable. sustainable. Therefore, paper is a good choice of material for these purposes. Over the last four or five years, there has been a very high interest around the world in uh, uh, R&D work related to these technologies. And promising lab scale solutions have been introduced from research groups and university spin-offs during the recent years. But I, up to date, I have not yet seen anyone uh, showing potential for industrial scale production. In the image here we have a demonstrator done at VTT where we have printed antibodies on paper and have a, have a test read out whether the sample that has been tested contains whatever the analyte is that we want to test in this case. So paper as a substrate could be very interesting in realizing uh, the vision of bringing low-cost biodegradable solutions for everyday sensing. Uh, one important issue in, in diagnostic or sensing devices is the control of a sample fluid from one place to another. On the image on the right, you see a demonstrator uh, where VTT's uh, patent pending technology has been used to print fluid guiding channels in paper and there are droplets of colored water have been placed on top of the paper and the channels guide the flow of the fluid in, into desired locations. In addition to being biodegradable biomaterial and very low cost, paper has the advantage of having the mechanical strength and you can cut and fold paper in various ways to ease the use of these uh, sensing solutions and to create functional structures out of paper. For instance, the image on the left, which is a 
both folded out of paper. Uh, the image I pulled out from Microsoft PowerPoint's um, image collection, but it just shows the potential that, for instance, in a diagnostic application, the boat could be used as a cup to collect rainwater or something else where you want to detect something. These fluid guiding channels that are on the uh, right side image could be printed on the uh, on the paper boat to guide the sample to the reaction zone. Also, the tip of the boat could be used as a sample collector where you tip the, the, uh, the end of the paper into whatever the sample you are uh, taking, and then the channels wick the fluid into the reaction zones. So Based on these great p properties of paper, uh, we have the p possibility to design completely new types of products in the areas to be used in the areas of health or well-being or environment. Uh, we are also considering using of these technologies to add new features into packaging, label, labeling, or other existing paper pr products. Uh, we are aiming to pr bring this technology commercially av available within the next couple of years and to start these uh, operations uh, we aim to ramp up the industrial scale production method of these fluid guiding structures to be used in simple promotional uh, uses. For instance, here we have a piece of paper where we have hidden images. Uh, once you drop two drops of water on the paper, you s see that uh, there is some something appearing, a few more drops of water, and you'll see the whole text. This could be used as an entertaining advertising feature, for instance, uh, in beverage coasters, uh, tray labels, or, or greeting cards. So we're planning as, uh, when we get the operation running, that during year one, uh, the technology is so ready that during year one the first uh, uh, products could be commercially available and by year three first simple diagnostic capability could be incorporated into the devices. So in order to bring this into actual use, uh, to bring this into marketplace, we are aiming to start a new company to realize this vision that I have talked today. Uh, this would be achieved by providing a physical technology platform comprising of paper upon which uh, different active elements are printed and then add diagnostic expertise to this platform. Uh, in order to move forward with this technology, uh, an agile startup company is needed firstly to focus on this technology Secondly, to ramp up uh, the, the industrial scale commercial production of these first generation products and start partnering with uh, diagnostic and consumer products companies to speed up the end product development of the technology. Well, if you have any questions, I suppose a, a question session will follow right away, but if you come up with questions later on, please, you can contact me with these details. Thank you.